Okay, level two. I'm thinking of a number. These are worth four points each. Ready? Two times one equals two. Two times four is eight. Eight divided by one third equals twenty-four. Three minus one equals two. Two times six equals twelve. Twelve divided by one half equals twenty-four. Thirty-six times two thirds equals twenty-four. Fifteen divided by five eighths equals twenty-four. Five eighths plus three eighths equals one. Seven plus one is eight. Eight minus two. Seven minus three. Seven minus six. Seven plus seven plus seven equals. Four times three equals twelve. Twelve plus twelve equals twenty-four. The math that is being taught in elementary schools now is not going to cut it. So the kids who are successful these days in math in middle and high school are kids whose parents have supplemented the math that's, ta that's taken place in the elementary schools. I'm Angela McIver. I am a former middle school math teacher who left teaching math to run a program at Temple University called the Math Science Upward Bound Program. Because I was at Temple, I started sitting in on the college level math courses and I would take the classes, I would study with students to figure out what in the world they were missing and what I realized is that they were failing their courses not because of what they failed to learn in high school, but because of what they failed to learn in elementary school. And that's what led me back to school, and I quit my job and went back to school uh, to get my PhD, um, studying older kids with weak math foundations. I studied students in middle school and interviewed them around their understandings about math. And what I learned from those interviews fundamentally changed the way I think about teaching and made me decide to start Math Foundations to share what I've learned. Monster Math Club started in my house uh, with my daughter, who was one of the first participants. I was concerned about the math in her elementary school and hired a graduate student to work with me to form an after-school program. So I asked a few of her friends, parents, if their children wanted to participate, and uh, that's how it started. But then other parents found out about Math Foundations and our after-school club and I decided to formalize it the following year with Monster Math Club and uh, develop an after-school math program that helps kids do challenging math um, in the elementary grades. Right now we have a very extensive curriculum from second through fifth grade. Uh, students are doing math beyond their grade level. What you'll see when you come into the clubs is kids engaging in fun math activities that are uh, designed to challenge them. The whole idea is that kids participate in math as sport. We want them to participate in math as something that can be team-based, that can be really exciting, that they want to work toward, that they, they come home and they study because they want to um, bring in points for their team. A lot of parents ask me, oh, they'll, they'll say, oh, my kid's not really good in math. I don't think they're, they're for Monster Math Club, and that's the kid that we really want. I mean, we want the kids who are great in math as well, um, but we want the kids who are not having a good experience in their elementary math program, and there are many reasons why they're not having a good experience, and often when we sit down and work with a kid, we, we can figure out why, and they're beginning to think of themselves as not good at math, so we develop lots of activities that build those math skills um, naturally, where kids want to learn the math skills. Next question. I am even. My tens place is a prime number. My tens place is a factor of 10 and 15. The sum of my digits is a multiple of three. What is my number? Fifty-four. Fifty-four is correct. Most administrators believe that literacy is the uh, focus and there is not a lot of attention paid on math and there's this, this, this belief that 
you know, if we just teach them to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, they'll be fine. And that is not true. So my goal with Monster Math Club is to move what's now just happening in a house into schools where teachers are trained on those uh, activities, those teaching strategies that actually work with kids. So uh, Monster Math Club, all of the curriculum and activities help teachers see what the end goal is for kids when they leave elementary school, when they leave fifth grade. All of the skills that students should be able to do um, are, are built into the program. But to get Monster Math Club into schools, we have to train teachers. So we do a two-day training for elementary teachers uh, who are interested in learning how to implement Monster Math Club, and you will walk away with all of the materials that you need to implement Monster Math Club as a supplement to your classroom instruction or as an extracurricular activity in your school. Since we started Math Club, the thing that is the most surprising is that when we thought we were setting high expectations, we were not setting them high enough. That kids surpass the, the expectations that we had, which made me really rethink what they're actually doing in elementary school, what the expectations are for students in elementary school, and why we want to get Monster Math Club in the elementary schools, is that when you give kids the right environment and the right kinds of support and activities, uh, then they, they surpass all of your expectations. And um, we are always surprised. I guess now I should not be surprised that we um, set a bar and kids surpass it every time.